Hello and uh, welcome to the second of the Landscape Builder tutorials. This tutorial is going to be on texturing. I recommend if you haven't watched the first of the Landscape Builder tutorials, which is on the interface of the Landscape Builder, I recommend you watch that now as it, it will make a lot more sense, this tutorial, if you've watched the first tutorial. So for this one, I'm just going to create a landscape quickly. Set the size to 4 kilometers by 4 kilometers, width of default, generate the landscape. I'm just going to rush through creating the landscape itself as that's not really important. The important part is the texturing in this tutorial. So I'm going to make use the Mountless Lagoons preset. Oops, uh, make erosion type none and generate height map. Generate some height map. So that creates our terrain we're going to be landscape we're going to be working with. So I'm going to go back into landscape, into terrain settings, and I'm going to make the base map distance 5,000. So the base map distance is basically the distance at which all textures are display are displayed at full resolution. So anything below the base map distance, above the base map distance away from the camera, the re your textures are going to be in a lower resolution so it won't look as good. So since this is a texturing tutorial, I'm going to make our terrain look, our landscape look a bit better. So apply terrain settings. I'm going to go into scene settings and I'm going to add some water in for this tutorial. I'm going to use the water for advanced prefab. Set the resizing mode to standard assets so it'll kind of auto detect what type of water I'm using and act accordingly. I'm going to leave the water level at 1000 meters so good idea to remember that for this tutorial. I'm just going to add the water into the scene, automatically adds it in for me and I'm going to set up my scene lighting. So in here I'm just going to set start time of day to 8 o'clock in the morning for this tutorial which I find tends to look good in. Okay, so now for the texturing. So obviously we've got to go into the texturing tab and I'm going to go, just go ahead and add four textures. So for this one, I'm going to, this tutorial I'm going to aim to kind of create a bit of a beach around these lakes, have some grass up here, some bit of dirt, and then I'm going to have a few cliff textures up here, up the top. So First, what we're going to need to do is first add the sand texture. So I'm going to use sand beach as corresponding normal map. I'm going to use a grass texture, grass hill albedo, normal map. I'm going to use some rocky grass. This will form the dirt for the terrain landscape. And I'm going to add a cliff texture. For this one, I'm going to use bot cliff. So, I'm going to leave all texturing modes to height for now, just to start with. And I'm going to specify some minimax heights. So, for the beach, we know that the water level is 1,000, as that's what we left it to, as that was the default. So, what we, what we kind of want to do is have all everything below the water level be sand and then just a little bit above the bit, the water level be sand as well so that will kind of form our beach so we're going to start the min height at 0 and the max height is 1100 so uh, it, the maximum will be 100 meters above the water level so for grass we're going to start at 1100 and go to 1500 so from about here all the way up to about here somewhere then start min height of the grass rocky of 1050 go to 1500 and for cliff go 1400 all the way up to 2000 so what you can see here is that I'm overlapping my textures so the the sand ends at 1100 and then 
but the grass rocky begins at 1,050. So there's between 1,050 meters and 1,100, we're going to get a bit of blending between 1,001 between the sand and the grass rocky texture. And between about 1,400 to 1,500, we're going to get some blending between the cliff texture and the grass textures. So the idea with blending is that it makes your landscape look a bit more natural because you're not just cutting off textures between at certain points. So I'm just going to go ahead and texture the landscape to see what we end up with. Okay, so almost immediately we're going to identify a few problems here. The cliff texture doesn't look so great because if we look up closely especially you can easily identify there's a lot of tiling. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to change the tiling from 25 by 25 meters to 100 meters by 100 meters. So we'll time the tiles will be four times bigger. So there'll be four times less tiling basically. The other issue is that the beach is way too wide. Like you don't get beaches that are this wide ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the max height of the beach down to 1,020 meters. And now what we need to do is drop all the other textures down a bit, apart from the cliff texture. So the min height of the grass rock is going to be 1,010, 10 meters below that. And the min height of the grass is going to be 1,050. So one thing... If you don't overlap your textures and you have areas where no texture is specified, it's just going to turn up black. So that's another reason we need to make sure we overlap our textures. So we just texture landscape now, see what happens. So the tiling of the cliff has been reduced a lot, looks a lot more natural, and the beach is now a much more reasonable width. So we have, still have a few other problems though. The grass hill texture appears on very steep slopes up here on the mountains, which is rather unrealistic. We still want to texture by height because we don't want the grass coming underwater or on the beach or on the really high points in the mountains. But we don't want the grass to appear on steep slopes. So we basically want a texture by height, but also by inclination. And in Landscape Builder, we have an option for that. We can texturing, go texturing mode, height and inclination. So what I want to do is I would keep my texturing heights, but I want to texture by inclination, have a min inclination of zero, and a maximum inclination of 35 degrees. So the maximum inclination will appear at is a 35 degree angle. Okay. Um, also the cliff texture looks a little strange because it only appears on these really high areas. We can't really simply just set the min height to a thousand because then we're going to end up it appearing on the beach, which we really don't want. So again, we're going to have to go for this kind of height and inclination mode. So now we can drop the min height to a thousand, but put the min inclination of 40 and 45 and the max inclination of 90. So it will basically only appear in areas where it's really steep. So we also now need to check that there are no areas that have no textures. As I said before, those areas will then turn out black. So these areas will occur where the height is more than 1500, more than the highest of these grass textures, but the inclination is less than 45 degrees, so it won't be a cliff texture. So one way we can fix this is by just putting the grass rocky texture, the maximum height, all the way up to 2000. So it will appear from about here all the way up to here. So that will mean that there's no areas up there where there's no texture specified. So I'll just texture the landscape. So it's a bit hard to see, but we are making quite a fair bit of progress here. So we've got a few problems still. We've got a slight issue with grass, which now just seems to kind of 
not really look good because it's not appearing near the beach, which is rather unrealistic. So we can fix this by setting the min height of the graphs down to 1010. So it will appear down here near the beach line. Um, the cliffs now look slightly faded as well, which is a bit of an issue. This is because now that the grass rocky texture appears up there, the grass rocky texture is blending with the cliff texture, which can have the effect of the cliff texture fading out a bit. We kind of want the grass rocky texture to appear up high so that it that we don't have any areas that are black that don't have any texture specified, but we don't really want them interfering with the other textures either. So what we can do here is we can specify the strength of that texture to 0 0.1. So basically, it'll be really weak in these areas where it's blending with another texture. The cliff texture will take preference over it as it has a much higher strength. So now we can just texture the landscape again. Texture. Yeah, so this looks a lot better because the cliff texture is much more defined. So now we can turn our attention to another problem. At higher that there are flat points where the cliff, where the grass rocky texture appears. We want to override this with a cliff texture. We can't simply set the inclination lower as of the cliff texture as then it will appear down at the beach as well where there's low inclination. We need to create a new cliff texture that will only appear in high areas. So we'll add another texture. And we're going to use the cliff albedo texture. Oops. And we're going to set tiling to 100 by 100. And we're going to texture by height as normal, but we're going to texture from 1400 meters to 2000 meters. So this will basically mean that this texture will appear from, I don't know, about here all the way up to the top. So we'll click texture landscape again. It gives us a bit more up here. We can especially see that this texture is now appearing at higher points and so making the mountains look a bit more mountainous. But one of the main issues here is at the angles, at the inclinations between 45 and 90 degrees, the cliff textures are blending together. So here especially, this doesn't look brilliant because the two cliff textures are rather different, but they're still being blended together and they don't really give a look I like. I mean, you might like it, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a technique to get rid of it. So, what we really want to do is at these heights, we want to emphasize the cliff albedo texture. So, since they're being blended, one the way that you emphasize it is through the strength of the textures. So, the more strength a texture has, the more emphasis of that texture there'll be. So what we can do is we can set the strength of the cliff albedo texture to 2. So it'll be twice as strong at these points. So I'll texture the landscape. And there we go. So if we zoom back a bit, we can see that that looks a bit better. The, the blending especially is working a lot better there. So... That's basically the end of this tutorial. We've created the landscape we wanted with beaches, a bit of grass up here at flat areas. We've got some mountains that look correctly textured. We've got a bit of dirt there. So all we can do now is just hit play. And everything just works. Thank you for watching this tutorial.